winner. Not a winner, a winner. <laughs> yes, I love it. Hey guys, it's Weezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today with a new wig review. The unit we're going to be taking a look at today, y'all, is by Ultra, and it is from their Perfect Hairline line, and it's one that I couldn't wait to get my hands on, so I finally got her. And the unit that I'm talking about is Geneva. Okay, and I got Geneva in the color DRFF4 Strawberry Gold. So she is a 13 by 6 lace frontal. It says no plucking required, baby hairs, adjustable wide elastic band, and heat styling friendly. I think she's heat safe up to 400 degrees. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, get her unboxed, show you the deets. And I'm going to go ahead, style her up, and then I'll come back in the outro and give you my thoughts. All right? So this is Ultra Perfect Hairline Geneva. Let's go. So right here, I'm just taking my L'Oreal Gray Hair Cover-Up Spray. And this is what I use to tint my lace. And I have this in the color Dark Blonde. And I get it from Walmart. And I think I pay like $9 or $9.99 for it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my um, Bed Head T-I-G-I uh, Hard Head Holding Spray. And I'm going to use that to lay my lace. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it down before I cut the lace off because I find that I get, um, I can lay it down a lot smoother when I lay it down before the lace is cut. It's just something new that I've been trying. And then here I'm just using my uh, hair dryer brush to um, dry that hairspray. I was too lazy to get up and get my regular hair dryer so I'm just holding that in front of my face in case you're wondering what in the world is she doing. And the key with laying your lace you all is using a small comb and then use the back of the comb and just keep you know you got to kind of apply pressure and push back. So apply pressure and push back and then comb through it every now and again. And that's what you're seeing me do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace now and when you're cutting the lace, um, when you lay the lace down first, sometimes you have to kind of lift it up because you'll have like, you know, hairspray, it, it really holds the lace down good, that bedhead um, T-I-G-I. And you'll see that I have like some white residual, but you can easily clean that up with a uh, just a wet paper towel. And um, yeah, so here I'm just going in with a little bit of mousse because this unit has a lot of flyaways. And so I'm using that mousse to kind of um, hold those flyaways back and then just again pressing those edges down to make sure I have everything laid nice and tight. And you can kind of see, um, see that it, it wipes off really easily. And don't mind my makeup, y'all. Make sure you lay your unit down before you do your makeup, sis. Okay, and I'm just like cutting me like a couple little sideburns down. And I like doing that because it just, I can it helps me to lay the lace down um, even better on the um, sides of my head. And so I just like the way it looks. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. That's just what I'm doing. Okay, girl, now we're gonna go in and create us a few little uh, baby hairs. I did like the baby hairs on this unit. They're very thin and wispy. Um, but I cut the lace kind of close. <laughs> so I wound up having to like recreate um, my own baby hairs. 
So I'm just using that mousse to kind of lay my baby hairs down. And then I'm going to go in and kind of swoop to swoop to swoop. And if you don't like baby hairs, that's cool. You ain't got to tell me about in the comments how you hate my baby hairs. It's just what I like to do. So I'm going to do me. You do you, boo. Now, I did go in with my contour um, powder palette and um, just kind kind of using that to, to help to color that lace because I still had a little bit of a halo. But what I actually should have done also is just went in with my foundation brush. So if you find that you still have a little bit of a halo, just use your foundation brush um, to cover up the front hairline um, a little better. Okay, guys. Woo. Okay, I literally prayed over this wig because it had been getting kind of mixed reviews. And I was like, oh man, I can spend all this money on this wig and it's gonna be garbage. But when I tell you I love this wig, I love it. Look at the colors in this strawberry gold, y'all. I mean, come on, get your life. It don't get no prettier than that with a color blend like this. I didn't comb her with the comb. I've only finger combed her. Cause to be perfectly honest, I was scared. <laughs> but I am, you know, as I, you know, have finger combed her, I am getting snags, but nothing that's a deal breaker for me, but I am getting snags. Okay, so sis, let me go ahead. I tried to do kind of like a curved part on her. So let me just go ahead and try to comb her out with the big tooth comb and kind of see what we get. I love the length of her. I know a lot of people are saying like she's too long and they were cutting her, but I like this length. Girl, I'm y'all know I like my Rapunzel hair. The longer the better. <laughs> I really like this length. It's it's this color is just doing it for me, y'all. Um, I will say she has a heck of a lot of flyaways. Lord Jesus. And she like having a battle with my eyelashes. Don't play with the lashes, sir. But oh man, this color. Okay, big hair friendly. I would say. Yeah, you probably could get you probably could fit in in this. It might be a little snug. It's not huge head friendly, but I think if you had a medium to big head. She is the 13 by let's see what is she 13 by 6? Yes. So, you have a lot of parting options, but with these 13 by 6 lately, it's like right about here. Yeah, right about here is where you're gonna run into weft from yeah here and here. So it does go over ear to ear lace, but you don't have a lot of parting space on the sides. More, most of your parting space is gonna be right up in here. So I didn't do all the different parting ways, but you definitely could wear her as a middle part with no problem. And you can also put her on the left side with no problem. So I love the face framing highlight. Um, just look at that. That's just cute. So she is a little more costly, guys. This is like one of the $60 wigs, I think. I can't remember how much I paid for. I'll leave it in the description box, her price. But to me, this one, is worth it. Look at that, y'all. Girl. So yeah, her baby hairs were nice. They weren't too thick. Not, they were not, you know, like the perfect uh, density for the baby hairs. I was able to, as you see, lay it down with no problem. Um, 
I did put some, uh, I tinted the lace, and then along the front, I did have to go back in with some of my contour powder. I think that's pretty much it, y'all. Definitely pre-plucked. I plucked a little bit, but girl, don't even, you ain't got to do all that, unless you just want to be extra. But look at that hairline. The hairline is nice, pre-plucked. You got your baby hairs, and this a winner. This a winner. Not a winner. A winner. Yes, I love it. And this color is everything. I love this strawberry gold. So that's probably going to pretty much do it for me, guys. She is a shatter, however. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, this is how much hair I've gotten out of her so far. So she does shed a little bit. But I'm all right with that. So yeah, look. Y'all, that's giving me a wig as them. Ooh, this color is pretty. Okay. <laughs> so don't tell me, just because you got dark skin, you can't do no blonde. Yes, sis. Yes, you can. There's all different shades of blondes. So it just depends on your undertone, which blonde would work well for you. But blonde to me is absolutely beautiful against dark skin. So that's just my opinion. But y'all can't tell me I ain't cute. <laughs> So yeah, anyway guys, that's pretty much all I have for you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, so let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, so give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the work that I put in. Don't give me no thumbs down if you don't like this wig. Tell me about it in the comments, but give me a thumbs up for my work that I put in. All right, guys, <laughs> you all have a very blessed day. And remember what I always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.